And Chicago police are searching for the suspect or suspects in an overnight shooting that left four people wounded. WGN's Courtney Spinelli joins us from the Jeffrey Manor neighborhood on Chicago's far south side with details. Chicago police say the gunfire rang out around 1:45 this morning during a celebration on the block right behind me. Several neighbors we spoke with off camera because they were worried about their safety say the same house where the shooting happened early this morning has been responsible for other large gatherings in recent weeks that have also gotten out of hand. We need three ambulances over here. Officers responding to the early morning shooting, finding four people with gunshot wounds on the 9600 block of South Merrill. According to Chicago police, at least one suspect fired shots at the group. I'm sending prayers out to the family, although I don't know them. Taylor Herman, who lives on the next block over, didn't see or hear anything. Still, she says it's always disheartening to find out anyone was the victim of senseless violence. Yeah, we got one on response. Chicago police say a 19 year old man was shot in the neck and a 22 year old woman in the back, both hospitalized in critical condition. Two others, a 27 year old man and a 22 year old woman, also hit by gunfire but expected to be okay. Don't y'all know that the kids might be here? Like, what if the kid got caught in like the crossfire? Then what? Residents on the block of the shooting say they saw young kids at the party. They know those bullets could have also hit other homes. Their concerns especially mounting in recent weeks, and they say many of the older residents that have called the neighborhood home for decades feel unsafe even coming outside. We stay to ourselves. Meantime, Herman says she hopes to see more people speaking up if they see something. She'd also like to see more police patrol the neighborhood to help deter anything people shouldn't be doing. Chicago police have not announced any arrests in the case. It's also not clear whether any of those victims live on the block where this all happened. Anyone with information should give police a call or submit a tip anonymously online. In Jeffrey Manor, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.